was rewarded at last for their marvelous feat. For through them, though they were incredibly shy, the moon was brought back to its home in the sky. But their strength did not come from their brawn, nor their size. In fact, something different allowed them to rise. The bunny was kind, quite loyal and smart, and above all else had a brave little heart. So this tale of the bunny, moon, and stars is told o'er campfires from near and far, shared in the kingdom among dances and songs. to the very top of the castle spire. There they untied their bag and took out all eight of the glowing fragments. The fragments shimmered and twinkled, light dancing across their dusty surfaces. The bunny marveled at their beauty and gazed up at the twilight sky. Here, thought the little bunny, this is for you. It doesn't belong to me should never belong to any one creature. Ever so gently, the bunny held up each fragment and watched as they floated, one by one, up towards the sky. The shards spun and twirled around each other, rising above the little bunny, above the old evergreen trees and the vast castle towers. A bright light flashed through the sky, and as the bunny looked up, they saw the moon had returned above. Gray-blue moonlight shone across the lands, illuminating all in its beauty as it once did years before, and as it would for years to come.